They're going to take it. No, people have had stuff taken away from them. That's right. And, uh, I'm, you know, you don't want to go there. What do you think about that, Tim? She, she's looking to travel or have someone travel with silver and concerned about uh, this being confiscated versus constitutional. Do you, do you see the wisdom in that? How you doing, Tim? <clears throat> oh, Yankee, I didn't know you were here. How you doing? <laughs> uh, it's been better. It's been better. That's good. That's Actually, good. say hello to John. He's one of, one of our finest who uh, has uh, given a, a great deal of his life to service. Thank you. How's it going? <laughs> well, it's good to see you. Uh, so where'd you serve in, 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 in what uh, forces? Sure. Yes, I was a, uh, in the United States Marine Corps uh, from 03 to 07. Um, I was a uh, sergeant, and I was in Iraq from uh, 06 to 07, um, and uh, again, the Marine Corps and Semper Fi. Oh, thank you so much for your service, and boy, I wouldn't want to mess with you, brother. <laughs> he would make uh, a lot of uh, foreigners uh, run. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. And, thank you, Yankee. And you're, thank you, and you're a stacker? Yeah, so I, uh, I, I say I blame my father. He uh, got me into it. Uh, he actually gave me a Skippy jar from my uh, great-grandfather filled with uh, coins uh, that were uh, actually had a Damula's uh, um, uh, receipt in there for the amount. And, uh, yeah, you know, it was just a, kind of a piece of history for me and just something that really got me into it. It even had his old driver's license in there. So uh, ever since then, you know, had the chance to meet Tim and been coming down here and, you know, stacking away. Yeah, I met him a few years ago. He's been coming in for a while. And um, a very good example of what we have out there in the field. Okay. Wow. I appreciate That's it. Awesome. Take care, buddy. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you. Actually, the, the really nice looking postal clerk, or I guess she's a carrier now, is going to solve all my problems today. Yeah. She's cute. <laughs> she's cute. Yeah, she's nice cute. looking. All right, Tim. I get it. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't know they were, they were hiring people as smart and as pretty as she is. <laughs> We have uh, a couple here that are, what, ooh, is that an Englehard bar? I, I want to buy uh, some junk silver. Junk silver. Well, constitutional, right? right? sure, 90% silver. You know I mean? I'd rather have smaller coins okay. that the people okay. want or that right. you can exchange for. Ooh, Johnson bit. Matthew too. It's Two of them? By, okay, so you, you really want to downsize yeah, is the key here. No yeah, there. I just don't think it's practical. I still and, have uh, more. Have I'm not more of these. This is the only one I have. Okay, yeah, more silver, but not these bars. I mean, just stuff weighs so much. The gold, if you got to leave town, you can put a few thousand dollars in your pocket. I mean, you can't carry a hundred ounce bar around. <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want to trade the silver until the gold. I mean, it's what is it at 90, 80, 90? The, ra I mean, the ratio. The ratio. Yes. That's crazy. Sounds like you're a very educated stacker. You no, know what's going really. on. Yes, you are. You're, you've been doing it for a I'm while. Watching. I want constitutional for travel because it's real money. And you go to any other country, they're going to recognize the silver. You can't go across the border with ounces of gold eagles, and they'll confiscate it. They'll take it. And you think that the 90 percent? Well, the constitutional, it's, 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 it's change. It's money. I mean, it's a little harder to steal it from you. So, I mean, yeah. so, I mean you don't want to be held up at the gate. You want to walk right through with your half dollars, quarters, and dimes in silver without them even caring. Yeah, they're going to take it. No, people have had stuff taken away from them. That's right. And, uh, I'm, you know, you don't want to go there. So there's some travel involved here. That factors into also the reason for you to yeah. change this. Yeah. What do you think about that, Tim? She, she's looking to travel or have someone travel with silver and concerned about uh, this being confiscated versus constitutional. Something like that? No, I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't bother. It would probably be confiscated. Um, gold too, my go I think gold's risky too. Yeah. I mean, if you're wearing, you know, big thick uh, chains, yeah. probably doesn't matter. Yeah, right. Yeah. But you'd be the sending jewelry. machines off. Yeah, yeah. that's you know. what she was saying there. Right? But constitutional? Who's going to confiscate ninety percent silver in your pocket? I think it you? depends on the quantity. I mean, Bitcoin's great as long as the um, power's on. Power's on. <laughs> 
don't know. You know what I mean? And then it goes, poof. Bing. Yeah. Wait, well, you, you were watching George Gammon. What was he, he went doing? down to Buenos Aires. Hmm. And um, he was checking out, and he had a smartphone, and he's going to pay with Bitcoin, and nobody takes Bitcoin because they have such inflation down there that, you know, people can only take $40 a day out of the bank. Mm. And nobody wanted to take the Bitcoin, and he and they didn't want dollars. They just, you know, he, he you know. They also have a really great president now. They really do. <laughs> yeah, he's the new Trump. <laughs> I like him. Malay? Is yeah. that his last name? Yeah. 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 President Malay? I didn't know when we came to this country that we were going to be Venezuela, and then they're going to be the new United States. <laughs> That Interesting is really point. sad. Yeah, yeah, it really depends sad. on who's in charge. Right. But you don't know how long any of it will last for anybody because I don't mm -hmm. know, things aren't that great. But anyways, <laughs> I think you have to protect yourself because we're in very uncharted times. America's never gone through this type of a situation before. Since the quarters are wrapped, I made that 80, and the balance mm. is going to be in dimes. Okay. If you want to measure these on the scale, it should be... That's okay. No, I one, do. 1,984... Grams. I'll be a little over that because we have the bags. But. Hey, Yank, what was the total? 1,986. Oh, okay. So there's the bag. <laughs> wow, you picked those two up from Tim? Yeah. What do you think of those? Oh, I think they're nice. Very it's a nice. Right now I have different varieties now. That's excellent. I love the Kugran looks like it's in great shape and that Perth mint bar is gorgeous. Wow. Very nice. Well you've been stacking for a long time. Yeah. That's uh Im impressive. You haven't sold much over no, those years? No, only if I had to. Yeah. You know, if only really if I if I really had to, you know. So if you're in another country or in the US, you, you gotta know. test it, right? You have to test it. Yeah. Pocket pinger. The pocket pinger, yeah, yeah. That way you can travel with it and that's a great point if you're going to be traveling with metals or testing them, yeah. The description of this video or any of my videos has a link in there for the oh, pocket finger. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it will give you a, a good, oh. very good price on it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Thanks. Definitely check it out. Yeah. Okay. So I left my paperwork back there. That should equal whatever I came up with those. So you're just going to just scatter this all over your suitcases? <laughs> Well, not I'm kidding. All, but I'll, no, no, you know, it's just easier because it's legal tender, you know, if you're traveling and then you wanted to turn some of it in or you needed some cash, you I can just, yeah. you know, yeah. get a little yeah, bit I'm of money sure they'll think he's money laundering at the airport. And they'll probably no. put him in jail. Oh, don't say that, Jim. Come well, you on. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't take all of that. But even still in hard times, this, this is very usable. Oh, yeah. It's very recognizable. Yep. And, uh, oh, preach it, sister. It's cash. It's cash. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So have you, when you traveled, thought about the right type of metals to bring across, uh, you know, customs on the airplane? I mean, mm -hmm. what do you do to for, for travel? Uh, I usually take the currency of the realm. <laughs> Wherever you're because, going. And I don't take my precious gold and silver. You anywhere. don't travel with it, do you? I don't do you travel with it. No way. Um, yeah, license oh, number license. in there. Yeah, whatever, the, if you have it handy. One customer who uh, grew up in Russia mm. and um, jumped on a merchant ship as a stowaway and um, told me his life story. He went, went you know, around the world. When they discovered he was on the boat, the captain said he was going to throw him in the water. He had no reason to be on the boat, and he said, put me to work, you know, I want to work to stay here. So they put him to work. That was like, before I met the guy, it was probably 30 years before that. So he was, you know, a grown man when I talked to him. And um, every time he'd stop in, he'd buy some gold, and he said, I'd say, so are you going back to Russia? He said, no, they'll take it at the border. And he said, even today, it's... Um, when they wouldn't seize it, it would be something like a $200 fine mm. to take gold into Russia. So I, I think it's, it's like that in a lot of countries. You know, if you're, if you're going to Europe, uh, European Union, they, they probably would want to buy it using their currency, and it's, uh, that's not a good deal. I wouldn't take it. 
I wouldn't take them overseas. If you're no. moving there mm -hmm. permanently, that would be a good reason to take some gold and silver. But overseas, I, I think it can be a problem almost anywhere. Because okay. uh, we, we have the wholesalers ship a lot of the gold that we, that we buy. Right. Um, and they do it here in this country. It's, the fees are low. They're, you know, they're right. prompt. They never lose a package. Um, I don't know how we ship it overseas. I, yeah. I used to ship it to, I shipped it to England. I've shipped it to Portugal. Yeah. Um, but in England, uh, the woman was buying British sovereigns. She said, just you know, put them between cardboard in, an, in a business envelope, make it look like it's business mail. And she said, but whatever you do, don't insure it and don't send it registered mail. And so I shipped it over. Like two days later, I get a call from her. She operates a tavern in London. She said, that's perfect. That was you perfect, know? yeah. I said, it no. cost me a few dollars. And she said, I'm glad you did exactly what I asked you. Yeah. I have heard of another dealer sending gold to England, and it was because it was insured and or registered mail, they took it. Yeah. Um, it was taken, in, the gold coin that I sent to Portugal was taken, but it, they, apparently the person who ordered it uh, was a higher up in their national police force. Oh, yeah. So, so, so he traced it, and yeah. uh, I said, did somebody go to jail? He said, no, but he probably got a beating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, this is what happened. So, yeah. Yeah. It, right. it's, it's different in every country. Right. Um, if I were doing a, a uh, if I were going to England or going to Europe and I had a transaction of gold going to Europe, I would probably take it then. Yeah. and take my chances, but it's it's tough because everybody in the world would Let's take it if given the opportunity. Yeah. Right. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> take care. Good. Yeah, take well, care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hey Yankee, can I get a uh, can I get a sticker? Uh, absolutely. What am I going to say? No. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, one other thing. We need to get a magnet on that. <laughs>